do the quiz 7 1 to 7 3 review. So the first problem, we are given a mini basketball with a 3-inch radius. So we went ahead and drew the basketball. Notice that the radius starts at the center and goes out to one side of the sphere, so that makes it our radius. And we're going to call it a sphere. And then we're going to put our formula in V equals 4 divided by 3 times pi times the radius cubed. Now we're going to do our substitution step. So we're going to do v is equal to 4 thirds pi times 3 cubed. So v equals 4 thirds pi 3 cubed. And now we're going to go ahead and do v is equal to 4 thirds. 3 cubed is 27 times pi. Put 4 thirds times 27 into my calculator and I'm going to get v equals 36 pi. So this is going to be v is equal to 36 pi and the measurement is inches cubed. And then I'm going to take my calculator and multiply 36 times pi. I get 113.0973. So my decimal answer is going to be 113 decimal 1 inch cubed. And of course I knew it was 1 because the 9 told me to round the 0 up to 1. All right, I now have a barrel. This has two bases, so I'm going to go ahead and gently shade the bases in. The 6 is the diameter. I take 6, divide it by 2, and I get my radius of 3. And the 7 feet is my height. I've labeled it cylinder, and I put my formula in V equals. I put in my parentheses for my base which is a circle, pi r squared, times height. Now I'm ready to work with my formula. V equals pi squared times height. V equals pi. My radius is 3 squared, and my height is 7. Now I'm going to multiply, so I'm going to have v is equal to 9 times 7 times pi. v is equal to 63 pi. So my substitution step is going to be v equals pi 3 squared 7. Then I'm going to have my pi answer of 63 pi feet cubed. Then I'm going to go to my calculator and put 63 times pi into my calculator. And I get 197.9203. So my decimal answer is going to be 197.9 feet cubed. Again, my 2 tells me to leave my 9 alone. Now I have a cone. I'm going to carefully shade in my base. The cone has one base. The height is 34. The diameter is 9.8. Take my diameter, divide it by 2, and I have my radius of 4.9. All right, so now I have my figure labeled. So um, this is a cone. It has one base. The formula is V equals one-third pi r squared h. So I'm going to go ahead and solve. So I'm going to have v is equal to one-third pi r squared h. v is equal to one-third pi. My radius is 4.9 squared times my height, which is 34. So make sure that your numbers are in the same exact order as the formula. Then you're going to square 4.9, so it's going to be one third times 24.01 times 
times 34 times pi. I'm going to put all three of those numbers into the calculator and I'm going to get 272.1133 which means for my pi answer I'm going to have 272.1 pi feet cubed. For my substitution step I'm going to have V equals one third times pi times four decimal nine squared times thirty four. For my decimal answer I'm going to take two seven two point one and multiply it times pi two seven two point one times pi and I'm going to get V is equal to eight five four decimal eight two seven three so my answer for my decimal will be eight five four decimal eight feet cubed now I have a cylinder the cylinder has a diameter of 11 inches so that's my diameter I take 11 divide it by 2 and I get my radius of 5.5 and my height is 17 inches it's a cylinder the formula is going to be pi r squared h I'm going to go ahead and take my formula v equals pi r squared h v equals pi my radius is 5 decimal 5 squared and my height is 17. So my substitution step is V equals pi 5 decimal 5 squared times 17 in the same order as the formula. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to square 5.5 which is going to give me V equals 30 point two five times seventeen times pi when I put those two numbers into the desk the calculator I get five one four point two five so that's going to be five one four decimal three pi because the five tells me that the two is going to go up so my pi answer is five one four decimal three pi inches cubed and when I multiply 514.3 times pi I get 1615 decimal 7211 so I'm going to round that to 1615 decimal 7 inches cubed oh go back and make sure that you shade in the bases and you've labeled all three parts. Now we have another cylinder, a can of soup. So we're going to shade the bases. We've got two bases. The diameter is 9.7. The radius is 5.5. Okay, the radius is not 5.5. When we take half of 9.7, we're going to get 4 decimal eight five centimeters for the radius so we have a radius of four decimal eight five we have a height of eleven okay so now we're on five the can of tomatoes all right, so now we're going to go ahead and take V is equal to pi r squared h. V is equal to pi. My radius is 4.85 squared times 11. I'm going to take and square 4.85, and I'm going to get 2.3.5225. Times 11 times pi. So when I put those two numbers into the calculator, I'm going to get 
decimal 7475. The 4 tells me to leave the 7 alone, so I'm going to have V equals 258 decimal 7 with the pi. So now I have my substitution step of V equals pi times 4 decimal 8 5 squared times 11. My pi answer is 258 decimal 7 pi centimeters cubed. And when I multiply 258 decimal 7 times pi, I get 812 decimal 7300. So the 3 tells me to leave the 7 alone. So I'm going to have 812 decimal 7 centimeters cubed. Now we have half a sphere. So again, this is a radius because it goes from the center to one edge of the sphere. All right? And now what we're going to do is we're going to do V is equal to 1 half times 4 thirds times pi times your radius cubed. V equals 1 half times 4 thirds times pi and our radius is 12 cubed. So I'm going to go ahead and cube 12 and I'm going to get V equals 1 half times 4 thirds times 1728 times pi. I'm going to put those three numbers into the calculator and when I multiply 1 half times 4 thirds times 1728 I get 1152 and then I'm going to put my pi on there. So my substitution step is V is equal to 1 half times 4 thirds times pi times 12 cubed. When I multiply, oh, sorry, my pi answer is 1152 pi millimeters cubed. When I multiply 1152 times pi, I get 3619 decimal 1147. So my decimal answer is going to be 3619 decimal 1 millimeters cubed. And now you've reviewed for your quiz.